Okay, so here we go with today's roundup of the over the board um, under 1500 and standard 90 minute 10 second game tournament. So in this particular game, we started as black. Our opponent was 13.07. We're currently 13.08. So we play as black here. So the opponent pushed through with uh, d4. So we're looking to block off, just trying to keep things as simple as possible. Really didn't want to be um, arty at all. I was trying to keep it as simple. Um, based on what we've been practicing throughout the um, practice tournament, really just really dumbing it down and not overestimating my opponent's skills and not underestimating them either so this particular move here was born out of the fact that ordinarily what i do is i usually bring the knight out you know oops i usually bring the knight out instead of that pawn yep and I was fairly comfortable with doing that sort of thing and if they did capture them we'd capture probably with the queen that, that type of stuff um, but as we've been going through the evaluations looking to kind of improve on the smallest of um, weak areas in a sense because as you can see the gaze bar showing it's not the best really it's still like showing white as an advantageous position so we've been practicing different different ideas different angles it's a little bit unusual still for me um, I, I had practiced it in the uh, I think the tournament once when it was available and some private sessions as well so this is why we push the pawn here looking to kind of improve um, the strength of our defense against this type of maneuver yes we can simply capture but I've done that one to death as well and really I'm trying to keep the tempo on my side because when you capture the pawn you're losing your own tempo and developing your pieces this is kind of opening up space for the queen and um, so it's giving it a little bit of um air already you know facing towards the king so they captured so we captured so far oh, this is a bit simplified but still got to be careful because all this area here is still open for attack so they develop the knight we develop our knight and they attack our knight so we're just pushing through now looking to make space to actually go and castle so we develop our bishop ordinarily as usual before we would usually just sit the knight here the bishop here you know supporting the knight because of the bishop attack but we're feeling we need to do a bit more be a bit more proactive in our games looking at the evaluation um, from what we've studied so we brought the bishop out x-raying through it's doing something they have to think about it so we castle simple straightforward then they bring the bishop through i'm thinking the bishop's not actually attacking anything i did double check i thought oh well, am i missing something here so we could um attack the bishop computer's saying that's not the strongest move and queen a5 probably coming here that's what it's saying um i have practiced that one before as well but it I didn't seem to be able to make it work. The computers can, but I, I can't make that work. I seem to lose out somewhere. Um, maybe it's because, well, maybe it's better doing it now because the dark square bishop has blocked itself so it can't come back and defend. So that might be a plus. But I didn't see that. So smaller piece attacking a higher piece, can't be wrong. And then smaller piece attacking a higher piece again, can't be wrong. So now we develop the knight. They attack our bishop, we bring the bishop back, attacking their bishop. Ordinarily, as we know, they usually go back here, looking to try and open up the space for the rook and putting pressure towards the king area. But thankfully, the opponent actually captured, so I thought, oh, this is okay, this is very simplified. Let's capture. And then we push through the center here. We're trying to open up the center. Our focal point was really on trying to target the king and the area around the king, if we could, if we could dishevel this pawn type thing uh, even looking for a fork here if they forget themselves so they captured so we captured back so it's a simple take fest here as you can see um showing white as in a little bit of a better state and um, i didn't see that personally so i felt fairly happy with my position so we bring the bishop through supporting the the pawn but also looking really to line up towards their king queen so he's putting like 
lots of force onto the pawn he's got the queen and the knight everything going in there kicking him so we look to block off the power of the bishop and attack the knight at the same time so they do actually capture so we capture back and then the queen's getting into the game he's got a two on one on the pawn so we bring our bishop through attacking a higher piece with a lesser piece so the rook moves so now we can block off with the bishop um, I felt that was quite nifty obviously it's, it's blocking my own passageway but at the same time looking at focusing on how can we disturb this area is a potential pawn push up attacking this particular area so the queen comes across but obviously it's going to be in the line of fire of our rook so we bring the rook here so that we're opposite the queen not many people like the rooks being opposite the queen so the queen moves so now we're jostling so we're looking to basically come here obviously we know they're going to double up on this side here but then there is the element of potentially maybe attacking here and somehow getting the rook across facing their king so that's what i was thinking in the back of my head so we went through the normal process of doubling up here now we're focused now on targeting this pawn and for shock of my life they actually did this move i thought well i can just do on pass on counter but is my bishop kind of going to be loose at the moment he's only got two on there so we've got two supporting so we capture and now we've got space opened up in front of the king so this is where my brain's thinking oh maybe i can come across and give it a little bit of a touch so we bring the rook up and then they push down a smaller piece attacking a higher piece usually can't be wrong in this particular situation probably is because there's the rook check on the king so the king moves but it's moved to the wrong place i mean they'd gone away from the desk uh, at table at that time and when i was looking at the board after i'd done the rook move i thought but he, he can just come here can't he is he not going to be safe so I had a panic on, but as you can see the computer showing, it's still minus 4.7, so that's still okay. And then I had the panic thinking, oh my gosh, my bishop is going to be taken because now where does my queen go? My queen is under attack. What do I do? So that was the scary part about this particular maneuver because where does my queen go? actually genuinely where does it go bringing it back then there's that potential this is what i thought was going to happen if they took here and then basically i could put a check on oops, excuse me if they took there i can put a check on where does the king go the king probably is not going to come there but they could go there could go f1 or it could go here which way is it going to try and get across do you think which would be better so if say they went there like a human but then obviously he's got check oh dear me he's got checks on him yeah that's gonna kind of hurt isn't it hmm that's gonna kind of hurt because he's gonna have to put his queen there but he doesn't have to he can move his there just swing up all right so there was benefits it was okay i was so panicked i was going to lose the bishop if they move their king across but it's fairly okay so we brought the rook across and then they moved across and then i thought well this must be checkmate now then so we brought the bishop here knight captures and then checkmate so that was a fairly smooth start to the tournament um yesterday i took a bye as i mentioned so i got half a point for the bye so we were currently on one one and a half um out of five at this moment in time so yeah we'll go on to the next game that we played in the afternoon